Well, everyone, Iowa 17.1 is literally right around the corner. And what's super crazy is that there is actually some really big features and some improvements that are going to be coming around within this specific update. Now, the big thing to keep in mind within this specific update is that it's going to be available basically for all the iPhones on iOS 17, including the iPhone 15s. And just from the top, I mean, we are already getting some really cool features. So for one, we're getting Apple Music Favorites. So this is something that I think Apple stated that they were going to be bringing not too long ago, and they actually ended up bringing it this time around, which I'm really happy to see. On top of that, we're going to be getting some new standby mode settings. So before we basically, you know, the display was going to be turned off automatically, but now you can go ahead and set it to where you can turn it off after 20 seconds or never. So I think this was only a feature on the iPhone 15s, but now we are getting that feature system wide on all the different iPhones. On top of that, within 17.1, we're going to be getting airdrop basically over cellular. So this is actually very, very big as well, because before, once again, we were not getting that capability of having that airdrop setting over the cellular network. But now we're going to be getting that capability now, which again is actually very, very cool. Now, on top of that, within iOS 17, we're also going to be getting another cool feature. Now, this specific feature is connected cards. So within the UK, you basically have the ability of having a connected card within your wallet application. So now it should be a little bit easier now for some people to go ahead and utilize those specific cards, which I think is pretty cool. Dynamic Island is also going to be getting some improvements within iOS 17.1. Before, you know, there were some specific features that were only actually made for the iPhone 15s. But it looks like that has now been transferred over and basically brought over to all iPhones that have Dynamic Island on iOS 17. So these will include the iPhone 15, all the iPhone 15s, and the 14 and 4, the 14 Pro and 14 Pro Max. Not the standard 14, that one does not have a Dynamic Island. Now another funny change, which I think is actually for the better, is actually the reachability. So when you swipe down on reachability, that will now be showing you a black background instead of the like dark gray background that they had before. I think this is actually a pretty nice touch because now we're going to be getting basically a little bit of a smoother, I would say a little bit of a better layout overall. That's like another cool feature going on with this specific device as well. And overall, I mean, those are just some of the highlights. There are lots of cool things, including Nintendo Switch 64, the Nintendo 64 controller support for the Nintendo Switch. That is also going to be coming around for this specific device as well on iOS 17. So that's another really cool thing. And overall, what I'll definitely tell you is, this is by far a really big update, and I would highly recommend every single person to go ahead and upgrade once this update comes out. So that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, tell me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.